Hello everyone, it's Rob with some Lightroom tips and tricks. How are you? Hope you're okay. I just wanted to make a quick video on how you select your pictures and then put them in the collection or do whatever you want. But the important is, important thing is to select which pictures you want and how you can get them down from a thousand pictures or whatever to a smaller manageable number. So there's a few things that Lightroom ha has inside and a few different methods that we can do this so I just want to show you um, uh, and explain one and then you can go through the other two on your own so here we have an album uh, from my C drive I haven't made any collections as yet because I haven't had Lightroom 4 for very long and I've always used Photoshop I'm sure like a lot of you and since having Lightroom oh, it's um, I haven't even used Photoshop uh, you can do nearly everything inside of Lightroom and it's even better for organizing your pictures so you can eventually get almost a one or two click to view any any picture you've ever taken um, it's awesome it's seriously good uh, so I recommend you get it um, or if you have it then well done okay so let's move on so let's let's talk about this how we select our pictures so here we have an album um, and I'm going to go along and I'm going to select which pictures I want. This is in the grid mode and I'm going to select which one I want with the letter P. And this is going to add a flag to this picture. It's going to scroll along to the next one. And I'm going to use uh, the right and left arrow keys to go to my next pictures. I'm pressing P on the one I want. There's a bath. don't know what that's all about. So I'm just going along pressing P. And if I've pressed P on one and I don't want it or I made a mistake, you can press U so to remove the flag. And I'm just going through pressing P. So we're pressing P, that's great, but now what? After we've got these pictures, then what? Well, at the bottom above the film strip, there's the word filter. And if we click on the first flag, Uh, sorry, let me just turn the flagged pictures on. So here we have all the pictures I've just flagged. Very quick and very simple. And if you imagine you've got, I don't know, 900, 1,000 pictures or whatever, 2,000 pictures, it's a very quick way to select the ones you want. You can now move these all together and create a collection of the best wedding pictures from that particular wedding. Um so it's very efficient very quick and that's just one quick way of how to select your pictures the other method is with the flag system uh, sorry with the star system which I don't use but you can add a, a star to a picture using uh, the keys one to five from one star to five stars and then you can filter out them and also you can add uh, colored labels to the pictures uh, maybe that's for another video but I just wanted to show you a quick tip uh, my name's Rob. Please comment or subscribe and all that good stuff. Take care. See you next time.